Hello, welcome to the video series on project planning and controlling with Microsoft Project. My name is Jacques Alexis. I'm a faculty here in the leadership and project management domain in CPS. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to link your project schedule items uh, to create a network diagram. So here, when I talk about schedule items, I'm talking about deliverables and activities. So in Microsoft Project, you see we're going to call those things, those items, a task. A task can be a big task or a small task. So uh, later, we will talk about uh, what um, packages, deliverables, and activities. We're going to establish this difference later. But so now what I want to do, I want to create an activity, uh, a network diagram. As you can see, I have my project uh, schedule item, deliverables. I have project management, some project management deliverables, and scope, project scope deliverables. And I also have duration. So one thing I'm going to do before I start, I'm going to make sure that all my items are in auto schedule. So to do that, click on the task um, menu here, um, tab here, um, and you click on auto schedule. So everything here now is on auto schedule. So the key difference is the uh, manually schedule items will will have a pin and auto sheet writing would have a, a gun bar with an out here so what i want to do i want to link uh those item on the let's say project initiation project initiation is a project management deliverable so what i'm going to do i select from the first uh item to the last uh, and I call them items. This is not all activities. Activities start with a verb that is to, um, but I have milestone here. You see, charter created is a milestone. So to link them, I just click on the link. Here we go. You see that? Now you can see, um, no, let me, if I unlink them, here they are, but when they're linked, you can see the difference. Right, so I am going to actually link this uh, last project initiation uh, activity with the high level planning. So I link that. I'm going to link everything, uh, every sub task. Uh, now, by doing so, I'm linking things or items by default with a finish to start relationship. In other words, I, I'm saying. I finish one activity, one deliverable, I complete one deliverable, and then the next. Uh, but uh, I may change that later, because I don't want to plan everything finish to start. I want to plan things um, start to start or finish to finish as much as possible to create what we call laddering or fast tracking uh, in my project schedule. So now I'm going to link all these activities here. And uh, actually, I'm going to link all of these activities. And I finished to start relationship. Now, um, I'm going to link the monitoring and controlling uh, activities. Uh, but what I want, let me look for the predecessor column to see what's happening here. So in terms of monitoring and controlling, what I want to do, I want to uh, at least plan those activities start to start because I'm going to perform those activities at the same time. So 51 has 50 as predecessor. So I can say 50 SS, um, center, 51 uh, SS, uh, 52 SS, and 53 SS, which means that I'm going to start doing monitoring, controlling activities at the same time. Let me link these, uh, uh, the closing activities, and I close them. Now, the, you don't have um, 
closed network diagram. Yeah, because in an abstract diagram, in, 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 in order for it to make sense, you, all items must be connected, must be part of the network, unless you have a good reason to leave something out, which you'd have to explain, um, or you could leave in manual change. Every item must have a predecessor, uh, obviously, except the summary item, the, the, the not, you will link the sub item. So I'm going to give you a difference here. Uh, for example, I can say monitoring and controlling project work can start as soon as I start with, let's say, um, identifications of potential site. Uh, let's see if we say, well, that could be nine SS. You see that? Start to start, right? Uh, why not? So here, monitoring and controlling will be what we call a hammock activity, uh, encompassing different parts of project execution, which makes perfect sense because I start monitoring and controlling when the project when I start the execution phase of my project. So that's what you Now, the question you're asking yourself, how do you link um, site um, identifications of potential site and high-level planning? So click on high-level planning and link this, right? So link them, right? So you see here, I don't link the, the summary item, I link the sub item. And because this sub item is linked to something, to a predecessor, this one is also linked to the predecessor. So what I what if I want to link site identifications and pre-feasibility study, how do I do that? I, like, I link the last item here to the first item there using the control uh, feature here. Uh, or bottom. So um, um, uh, I select them and then link them. As you can see here now, 13 has 11 as predecessor. I'm going to do the same thing for uh, pre-feasibility study and feasibility study by linking these two. And I'm going to do the same thing for all the others. This one and this one. And um, 31 and 35, as you can see, only the sub uh, uh, link. And I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, so this one, uh, I've already linked this one. I'll give you that example already. And uh, here, final acceptance, final acceptance here. I can link customer final acceptance to, let's say, um, I, I can do this once I'm done with the commissioning. So as you can see here, I, I can actually link these two. Um, you link activities together based on the nature of the work, whether it makes sense to link them and how to link them. As you can see, I'll link some stuff uh, start to start um, and orders that I, uh, you know, uh, let finish to finish. But in your project case, you can actually look to see what activities can be finished to finish and what activities can be start to start. So uh, that's how you linked um, activities in project. Now, if you take a look at your software, for whatever the reason, you see there is something that is not linked, you have to make sure it is. Now, the problem here is that you can't never have activities and deliverable at the same level. So these activities, I know the activities usually start with verb. Um, um, they start with a verb. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to link those activities. I'm going to indent um, these activities under site motivation. So that's what I'm going to do here. And using this function, you see here now, everything is part of the network. Uh, now, when I take a look at the predecessor column, I just want to make sure that every item has a predecessor except the first one and 
obviously not the summary activities because I linked the sub item. But if I didn't break down something, I'm more selected. As you can see here, I didn't break down high level planning yet. Uh, so I linked it with the previous activity. So, so that's how you, you, you do it. Now, that's going to be all for today. Thanks for uh, watching uh, this video. And um, um, let's wa watch for, for the next video on project planning and um, controlling with uh, Microsoft Project. Thank you.